Discover the next level in entertainment. Sky Cable's Evo Box is the latest product that lets you access over 190 channels, built-in streaming apps, and more than 5,000 downloadable apps and games. Get yours now at mysky.com.ph slash skyevo or visit the Sky Zones in Ayala Center and Gaisano Grand Mall, Lapu-Lapu. Women. I am Vanessa Balbuena. Joining us today is the General Manager of Cebu's Plantation Bay Resort and Spa, Ms. Cherry Aliego. Ms. Cherry, thanks for joining us and happy International Women's Month. Good afternoon, Vanessa. Our first question is, how is Plantation Bay coping with the challenges of this pandemic? How is your, how are you doing? Yeah, um, I'll give you a backstory. Um, at the start of the pandemic, um, we met our key officers and collaborated. Um, one of the biggest challenge is the sudden drop of occupancy. To augment, we launched our Center for Assisted Luxury Living, or Call as Home. It is our long-term hotel residence at Plantation Bay, combining the best of our resort lifestyle and assisted luxury living services. We have several sign-ups who stayed with us for a month, three months, and even a year. The next challenge we see is the safety of our staff and guests. So we decided to use the skeleton workforce and do implement right away the safety protocols as mandated by DOT, IOT, IATF, and DOH. We invest on equipment like UV pool filters, UVC lights, and air purifiers. I am thankful that Plantation Bay has strong financial conditions with zero bank debt. We can assure our guests that we can deliver a good quality service and will not be under pressure to cut corners or skimp on quality. The next challenge is business continuity. With the low occupancy and higher operating costs, all we need is to think beyond the box. With the help of our well-trained and talented chef, we converted our pastry shop to a bake shop, selling pastries and patisseries online. Also, it was a long way planned before the pandemic to share our famous recipes of kare kare and longanisa through a partnership with Mr. Brian, entrepreneur behind Casa Verde, established a manufacturing plant to can these recipes, which eventually operates during the pandemic. These are all available now in the Sano Metro, Huda, Robinson Galeria, Cloud Cart, Food Panda, and Grab. We will soon add our chili con carne and vehicle express in the lineup. That's quite a long list, Miss. So that's great to hear yes. how your um, resort has been adapting to this challenge. So my question, next question is, how is it to lead a top resort in Cebu amid, amid this challenge, very challenging time? I feel blessed, honestly, to have been given this opportunity. And I can't do it alone without the full support of my colleagues and the management. What kind of leadership shall uh, your clients as well as your, your employees uh, yeah. expect um, from you? I see myself doing more on the visionary and coaching kind of leadership, emphasize on the company's vision. We are all in the same direction, I'm focusing on mentoring and training to develop and help our employees. How many employees do you have right now, Miss, at uh, Plantation? Currently, we have around 285. With uh, your decisions affecting um, a lot of people, a lot of employees under you, what do you consider when making tough decisions? Um, but, uh, sorry, Vanha. Um, what's the question again? You have a lot of people under you, so when you make a decision, that's... Uh, there's a lot of people that's going to be affected. So what are your considerations when making decisions? 
Uh, okay. Um, the, the, I have always the two factors um, that I have to instill always in my mind in making decisions. Um, that's the line, of course, our vision. Um, it's our guests and our employees. Um, these two core factors why we are here in business. And with them in mind, I know we will always uh, move forward. You've been with Plantation Bay Miss for 15 years now, am I correct? Yes, um, yes. Um, may we know how you uh, started in the hospitality industry? And if this was by choice, what attracted you to the field? Um, it, it's not really by choice because after I graduated as computer engineer, I chose to do programming. So I became a programmer for three years and... Was so unfortunate that my husband and I were both before we get married. Um, we decided that one of us should shift to a different line of job. So that's the reason I'm in the hospitality industry. But my focus from the start is ADP consultancy. So I check the systems and I check the process of all the staff using the system. And if I could create a code that will somehow expedite their job task. So I'm just working with macro codes a long time ago to really expedite their, their job. If it's not too personal, Miss, may I ask uh, what you have to be in a different field as your husband? Um, because during 2000 to 2004, we have limited choice with regards to um, company. Somehow, most of them are of the same um, interest, and they always see this as a competition. If you are from different companies serving the same market. Oh, okay. Uh, were there instances that you regretted giving up what you studied for? Actually, I didn't give it up completely. In Plantation Bay, I make it to the point that I okay, still apply my programming skills. So I still go over with the, with the usual job task of our staff. And if I could offer um, my expertise in writing their tasks and doing short programs, just like I'm creating our own online website. I didn't hire anyone uh, in doing it. So I did it myself way back 2007. And there's a lot of things in here in the resort that it, it was all my initiative that we have implemented it um, without spending a lot of money um, hiring from the outside. So it's not really totally a waste of talent. <laughs> I could say that. Um, it's just really that it's up to you. You just have to make yourself. Can you cite some of those initiatives that, uh, you, that you uh, initiated? Yeah, one of those is way back 2007. It is hard to get a supplier for the digital signage. And so I decided to make a special that will somehow um, schedule all our adverts and present it in a TV. So we, I use a modulator to have it projected in all the TVs at the resort. And it is a really a less um, expense at the side of the company. And also we have encountered um, certain um, concern with regards to guests looking for cars. And so I have some talents at the resort that I also tap. Um, we make a special program. Um, we think between hardware and software. So you just press a button. If you were if you were here at Plantation, they all notice there's a button in each press to request for part. And it is collaborations of a hardware and a software program. So nagamit na jud gihapon ang imong course yes. of history. Even okay. now, and even now, if I could do things just like during this pandemic, a lot, a lot is served online. Everything is paper. It is still, even if I'm the general manager, if I could do it, I'll, I'll do spare um, separate time just to do some um, research and coding um, so we, I can serve more to the company. Just sharing 15 years with plantation and counting. Um, you, mu you must have met a variety of people, encountered a, a lot of scenarios. Can you cite some of the most memorable um, scenarios you had to deal with or people that you had to um, and deal with? At the hotel, um, I'm more on doing my tasks. 
maintaining my um, the services of IT. The, okay, I only go out of my office if I have some difficult guests. It relates to internet access. I help out my staff um, to explain to the guests. And if there's something that I could do, um, yeah, I always go out of my office and help them. And majority my interaction is my to my colleagues. So I usually go over each department, trying to see what how can I help them with regards to their job task. So that's that's how I am most um, productive for the past 15 years. My interaction is not more on the guests, but I have lots of interaction outside when the company sent me out for training. What's the best thing about working at Plantation? Oh, I love the perks, honestly. <laughs> the company sent us almost every year um, to for training. So I've been to Cornell 2009. I've been to India to study certifications in Microsoft. I've been to the U.S. Um, for a VMware um, certification. I've been in so many places because of my job. And the company is very generous enough to train us. Not just training, even exposures. One in my bucket list is going to Peru and, and go. And when the owner asked me one time, one day, uh, one time, that where, where do you want to go this time? What training would you like to get? And I said, I'm not into training this time, but I want to go to the toy bucket list. I want to go to South America. And I was just so happy that the owner um, allowed me to go to South America and really experience Machu Picchu. So the travel perks are one of the yes. <laughs> attractions of your job. Now, it has been said, Ms. Sherry, that if you invest in women, you invest in the world. Is that a statement that you agree on? Yes, definitely, yes. Um, we have undeniable transformative power, I could say that. When we invest in women, everyone wins, <laughs> honestly. So the ripple effect is felt not only by these individual women, but also by their families, communities, countries, and ultimately the world. With females like you occupying leadership positions, you know, we've come a long way from those times when women were not even allowed to go to school. Do you think things are much better now for women? Um, I think women nowadays are just motherly determined to make a difference in whatever we you can see the passion, the consistency, and the courage at work that makes us stand out. If there are women watching right now who'd like to follow in your footsteps, would like to be a general manager in a top resort like you someday, what would be your advice to them? Yeah, younger women out there, um, you will find your way into the world by embracing and knowing who you really are. Embrace the good, the bad, and the ugly. Remember, we do not see things as they are. We see things as we are. Thanks is, I think, take the challenge. Be resilient and courageous to try new things. Third is, heed to learning. This is how we all grow and mature. Learn something every day. Read, be observant, be resilient, and enjoy the process. Some things are taught and some things are taught. What keeps you going, Ms. Sherry? What keeps me going every day? First reason is myself. I need to take care of myself because I have children that, that I should take care of. And first, I know I have a bigger purpose in this life. And God has a purpose for me, and he's not done yet. So that gives me the hope every day and the willpower to do my job well. Speaking of having children, I'm really curious, how do you juggle having a full-time position and being a mother and wife when you go home? Can, can a woman really do it all, be a career woman, and also be um, effective and attentive at home? 
Yeah, you can. We are very resilient. No, women are very resilient. And in in my case, I'm just used in waking up early. So cooking and preparing for my children when they were still around five, six, seven, eight. It was easy for me. And because I grow up in a poor family and everything is, I'm doing it myself. And my children now are 16, 14, and 9, so I don't have much of a problem. They can fend for themselves. Uh, my eldest cook at home, my second can do laundry, and my third can do cleaning at the house. So I give them assignment, especially during this um, it's part of the learning process. I want them to be um, independent. And I want them to really learn what life is all about. So it's just a matter of preparation. I'm used to it when I was young. So getting married, having a job, and having a position is not really a difficult for me. Cherry Oyago, General Manager of Plantation Bay Resort and Spa, thank you for joining Power Women. To all of you, thanks for watching. This is Power Women Season 4.